So over time, I've had many NVIDIA computers, laptops, etc. And I've had much experience as well with the NVIDIA control panel. And I've, over the years, I have been testing and see some of the best NVIDIA control panel settings out there. These will give you not only the best experience and performance in games, but also the best viewing experience for overall browsing and video viewing and many, many other things. So if you want just an overall great experience with your display, keep watching because the only gets better. I don't want to make this intro too long, so if you like optimization videos like this, make sure to subscribe and maybe at the top right of your screen, you can see a Windows optimization video to watch just after this. Anyway, I don't want to make this longer, like I said, so if you have the NVIDIA control panel already installed, if you right click your desktop, you should see it right here. If not, then I'm going to show you how right now. Anyone who already has it installed, just go to the timestamps linked in the video player and go to where I show you the settings. For you ladies and gentlemen who do not have it, hit your fellow Windows button, type store, and click Microsoft Store. Once you've loaded in, come to the top search bar right here, search NVIDIA. And you should see control panel right here. Click on that, let it load, and you should see install button right here. I have open because I've installed it already, of course, but you should see install if you don't have it. Once you've installed it, you could probably hit open. If not, come over to your desktop right here and click on video control panel. If it is your first time viewing, you're probably going to see something just like this. But if it's not, and you saw something just like this, or this or something else then come to the top of your right here and click adjust set image settings for preview click that and you should be right here first thing we're going to be doing is you should see something like this if you just gotten on you're going to want to hit this middle button right here i know you want performance so you do not want performance that performance does not give you the best performance while it might help better in the quality it does not give you the best once you're done here come over to the bottom and hit apply once you've applied that setting come to the top left right here push manage 3d settings and you should see something like this. If you actually, like, exactly like this, actually. Now, I will be reading them off. If you'd like to speed up the video or just pause right here and apply them, you can. But I'm going to tell you which ones you want to choose. For image scaling, you want to put on. Ambient occlusion is performance. Antisoscopic filtering. I might have busted that up a little bit, but it's off. Anti-analyzing is FXAA, and it's off. Anti-analyzing is gamma correction, and it is on. Anti-analyzing mode is application controlled. Anti-analyzing setting is application controlled. Anti-analyzing transparency is off. Background application max frame rate is off. CUDA GPUs is all. DSR factors is off. Low latency mode is ultra. Max frame rate is off. Multi-frame sampled AA MFAA is off. OpenGL rendering GPU, choose your max performance GPU. If you have a two-way SLI, just choose one of either same GPUs, just whatever one. Right now I have the RTX 3060, so I'm going to choose that. I only have one. Power management mode is prefer maximum performance. Prefer refresh rate is the highest available. Shader cache size highly depends on your storage drive and its uh, maximum capacity. For me, I have a 500 gig drive, I choose 10 gigs, so maybe if you have a terabyte, you can go a little more, but I recommend 10 gigs. Texture filtering, it's antroscopic, I probably messed it up again, sample optimization is off. Texture filtering negative LOD bias is allow. Texture filtering quality is high performance, that's an important one. Texture filtering trilinear optimization is off. Reddit optimization is auto. Triple buffering is off, vertical sync is used to 3D application setting, and virtual reality pre-rendered frames is 1, along with virtual reality variable rate super sampling off. Once you have applied these settings, go and hit the apply button you should see at the bottom. I don't have the apply button because I didn't put any new settings in, but you guys did, so you're going to want to hit that button right there. Keep in mind these next image settings or display settings I'm going to apply only apply if you have a desktop or a laptop connected to an external display such as a monitor or a TV. And if you have a laptop, I'm sorry you cannot apply these settings to your laptop's display. Now that you've done that, we're not done here. We want to get that best viewing experience as I mentioned before. So come over here and push change resolution. Once you've done that, you're going to want to come down to your Come up or down to your PC section and choose that right there. So for me, my monitor has some problems and I have to make a custom resolution for it because it's 144 hertz, but the video control pedal breaks and has it 
to 120 but that is, should not apply to you most of the time if it does i'm gonna show you how to fix it but under pc hit your frame rate hit the max frame right here and you're going to hit apply now if you know you have let's say a 240 hertz monitor only 120 hertz showing up or maybe 104 or so on so on you're going to want to hit this customize button right here you're going to want to create a custom resolution and if you know your display uh, option, like you know 1080p or 144p, 4K even, I'll put the the resolutions going to put in at the top of the screen. These resolutions are also in the description if you'd like to copy and paste them. Right now for 1080p, I have 1920 by 1080 that's the resolution I want. So if you have 1440p, the resolution will be the top of, this, of your video, 4K, and also other resolutions. So we'll go down to 720p there. If not, just a simple search in Google for whatever your display resolution is, we'll fix that. Then if you have a 240 hertz monitor, 144, whatever, just put your refresh rate in. So let's say 144, just search 144. Then put progressive, that's very important. And then color depth, make sure that's the max. You want to leave this all alone and then push test. Your screen will go black for a second and then it should apply those settings and you'll have that max frame rate and resolution that you had before. I'm going to push cancel because I've already applied this settings for myself, but that's exactly what should happen and did before. We are not done yet. Let's come to adjust desktop color settings and you should be greeted with this screen. Now, as you can see, I have my digital vibrance at 70. This is where you want to come to. I recommend 70. It's a good uh, in between from 100 to 50, but you can adjust this to whatever you think is good digital vibrance as you make it higher the more colorful your display becomes i like it not too colorful because it's a little too out there if you get a little too high but i think 70 is a good in between but then again 50 looks a little bit dull i want to go to those nice colors so i think 70 is good you guys can customize it to your liking though once you're done applying those come to the bottom for supply once you've completed applying this come over to the adjust video color settings under video and you should be agreed with something like this. If you're on something like this, just click with the NVIDIA settings and then come over to Advanced. Then click this and click Full. You should be unlimited. This will uh, unlock the colors that are in your computer because your monitor is being limited as it shows here and stock. Once you've completed this simple setting, just push Apply. Your display should have gone black and then it should work. But that's it. Once you've completed doing these, you're going to want to close out of the NVIDIA control panel or apply any settings you haven't already. You are done. And those, ladies and gentlemen, are some of the best NVIDIA control panel settings that I have gathered over well over a few years or several years, honestly, of uh, using NVIDIA computers or GPUs in general. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy these videos, you can go down to my channel and view some other videos that I have on PC optimizations. I have a little playlist coming at the top right of the screen or right as we speak and click that some more. Aside from this, apologize for the break if I had lately and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully. Have a great night. Great day. Great, great wherever you're watching this. See you later.